Okay, so hey, it's Ace Lewis. I haven't made any videos recently just because I've been very busy and I also haven't had access to my microphone so I couldn't record any audio for the videos. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to have custom domains uh, for Zeronet but not through Namecoin. So if you want a Namecoin.bit address, I'll put a video on screen now. And that shows you how you can fairly easily and very cheaply get a dot bit address to use with Zeronet. However, if you want to use the Bitcoin public key as your uh, domain name for your website within Zeronet, but you don't want some random letters, then I'll show this is a video for you. So what we're going to be doing is using a vanity generator for Bitcoin and just using the pub public key and the private key from that. The vanity generator. So previously I showed you how you can uh, make a Zeronet site. So we go out here, open up CMD. Uh, you can do that by holding shift and right click and you can go zero net and site create. So we've now created a test site, however, it's got this horrible key, so it doesn't start with anything memorable. What we're going to do is change this so it, it, so it, it is now going to be something which we want to use. So we're going to now change that to something more memorable. So we're going to use a vanity generator. I'll put a link in the description to the website here. On Bitcoin.it, it links to the Vanity Gens, and you can download from this website. These uh, Vanity Gens, if you have a good graphics card, it'll be very fast, and you can use the graphics card miners. But I'm going to show you how to use the CPU Vanity Generators. So if you just, uh, so you can right uh, sh hold Shift and right click to open CMD here, or you can just type CMD in this bit here, and then you open a CMD. So if you're using a 32-bit operating system. Just write vanity gen. However, if you're using, if you're using 64 bit, it'll be faster if you used um, vanity gen 64. So then all you need to do is you put a space. All Bitcoin public keys start with the number one. So you go one. And now we'll choose a few letters that we want at the start of our Bitcoin address. So what we all have is L E N N Y. So it's normally recommended to be about four or five letters because if you go any further, it takes a lot longer. On the website linked, it does show you the, the um, down here, the estimated times it would take you to get a Bitcoin address. Whereas if you go into um, quite a few letters, it will take a while. So we're going to do Lenny. I'll click enter and I'll get back to you when the um, vanity generator has generated the Bitcoin public key and private key. Okay, so that took about five minutes to do one this address. So we have this address, which is our public key, and we also have our private key, which I'll keep secret. So if we highlight this public key now, press enter, um, because enter, when I'll just uh, just because for some people who don't fully understand, I'll copy it. I'll highlight it, right click here, edit, and then go copy. Doing enter also copies. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the zero bundle, go into zero net, go into the data, make um, use the just say yeah, uh, yes to we saved our private key. That means that it will um, create the new site. So this is a new site. We'll rename that to our public key. Click enter. So now we have an index.json and sorry, uh, index.html and content.json. I'll just remove this one and replace it with uh, this one here. So just put a new content.json in. Okay, so then we go to Zeronet, you put in 
the one Lenny. So put that in here, click enter. And now we have the Lenny site that I made. So this is just a site where whenever you refresh the page, it shows a random Lenny face. Now what we need to do is slide this across, scroll down, the bottom, just click this is my site, here in the site description we'll put Lenny face, doesn't really matter, then on the content.json we need to sign it, it will then ask us for our private key, we will then use the private key here, and sign it. So now the content.json is signed. So this is something I'll put in another video. If I if you go to zero dot ace lewis dot com, I'm not used to Edge, I normally use Chrome. This is a meta proxy I made. So if we just if you just put in a zero net link, paste it here, just click use proxy, and then it will take you to a working proxy. Okay, so now we used a uh, Zeronet proxy, so that's shown uh, that the Zeronet site that I've created here, where it displays a random Lenny face, has been correctly published to the Zeronet network, because this is a uh, proxy, so the proxy has had access to it, and we have the Lenny face. I may alter it just so the Lenny face isn't quite as big, because some of these Lenny faces are bigger than others, and some of them might come off screen. So I'll put the uh, link to this site so you can check it out on Zeronet. And I've shown you how you can create a custom domain without using Namecoin. Now, if you like the video and you, or you found it useful, you can like and subscribe because I've got more good content, not just Zeronet, but I have a, a few more Zeronet videos to make. I'll put on screen a video on how you can have a dot bit a domain name within Zeronet and also how to create a Zeronet site so if you want to know the a little more in depth of how you actually create a Zeronet site so I, I glossed over that in this video because I did it in a previous video you can then uh, view the video on how to create a Zeronet site so I am being Ace Lewis if you like the video subscribe if you like the video like it and if, if, if you want to see more subscribe